guess where we are. It's an experience. Incredibly beautiful. You really feel the wind, especially uh, going through. That's nice if you're a little high in the back end. Looks really good. Well, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah. It was okay, but plenty of hookups. One thing I don't like. So we still have 92%. One thing we noticed, even though it has a smaller tank, it needs to be so that you can adjust it up and down also. So they need to put a post on here that has a little. Let me turn this off. When we're traveling, because if you've ever wondered, you know, where do I dump tanks if I'm, you know, boondocking? I wasn't sure if that AC was going to clear. Auto retracting stinky, stink, stinky, slinky hose. <laughs> she had a margarita. I did not. I needed one after the day I had. Follow the road into the sky. Never let adventures pass you by. Back to live in our vision. Guess where we are. If you joined us last week, you probably are aware that we have the new uh, Gretsch RV, the Strata Ion Sherman's Deli. I like the Rubens myself. Look at this. Look at that baby, would you? This is the tour package. We do not own it. We are ambassadors for the company, for Gretsch RV. I got it with the brisket. Ooh. We're here to give our honest opinion, pros and cons. There's a lot of things that we're already really loving about it. The downside, obviously, is the size. Here. <laughs> we and keep downsizing more and more and more, but... And the bathroom. It's an experience. So good. Any RV, there's uh, pros and cons to all of them. Each one has their benefits that suits people, you know, differently. We're doing this for all of those of you that are interested in seeing what it's like to live in a Class B. Here it is. The infamous pie, my favorite in the whole wide world. For a couple that, uh, how they adjust going from Class A to an Airstream and slowly downsizing. You're coming from a house, don't drastically jump clear to something as small as you can get. The varying coconut cream. You should ease into it. And that doesn't mean you have to buy a brand new expensive RV. Mm. <laughs> Is it how you remember it? I'm telling you nothing has to ever compare. A lot of used ones yeah. built better yeah. than some of them these days, except for this. And every year that I do taste it, I love it even more. So this is my number 10 pie. 10. You've given ten. it a 10. We've never given anything a 10. This pie is a 10. Gretsch RV is not owned by any of the major manufacturers. They are very particular with their quality, and they don't rush them out like a lot of... Uh, mass producers do. We're just here to uh, give a kind of a, a long-term uh, feel of how it is living in a Class B, not just a Class B, a Gretsch Strata Ion with the full uh, Lithionics Ion package. Um, AC can run for up to 10 hours. You don't even need a generator with this. In fact, it has solar on the roof, but it just trickle charges the batteries. We got an extra alternator on the engine. So anytime you're running the diesel engine, it recharges the batteries. So if you're dry camping somewhere and you're traveling, even if you're not traveling, you can just start up the diesel engine and recharge the batteries. And uh, you can use the AC on the coach itself. This isn't a big space, so this actually does a good job cooling also. It really does, yeah. yeah. You can actually live in this full time without going to any RV parks. The only thing you need to do is to get fresh water, and dump at a dump station. Just left Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. We're on Interstate 10. And, Heading to uh, Arizona first. Arizona. Is that where the first pie place is? Yes, but we will not make it in time. Where are you going? We won't? No. Turbo I'm... mode. <laughs> oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful.
really feel the wind, especially uh, going through you know, the Coachella Valley. But I just love to play in your fun and your games. Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born. Take me somewhere I don't know and give me your freedom. Whoa, you love me to pieces. Yeah, I need it. Won't you bend them all? Kind of like driving a mini me, Vinny. It is. A, a smaller Class A. Uh, Maybe that's the name of this. Mini Vinny. We've been driving through mountains quite a bit. So, so far we're getting about 17.2 miles per gallon. There was a lot of up and down, a lot of wind. Doing better than, than what the truck would obviously pulling. So I suspect this is going to do a lot better. was a lot cheaper. Actually, I looked at Gas Buddy and uh, TSD, and TSD was the cheapest. A lot cheaper than California. We just got back from the casino. Um, it's a nice casino, nice hotel. One little area had some Indian artifacts. It's uh, interesting to read about those, and they have a TV playing, talking about the reservation and everything. Um, gonna upload some videos and uh, get that organized. We just have the fan going and window open right here and it's bringing in a nice cool breeze. Feels really good so we don't even need to use ACs but if we did there's no issues whatsoever. Before we took off on this uh, on this jaunt back to Florida we were staying in it for about a week back in uh, Palm Springs and uh, it does really well. Uh, just running off batteries. Uh, we've been testing it a little bit, so we'll, we'll be doing some more testing. But I'm going to get these videos uploaded, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Let's see, we've got 86% of our battery power left. We've, uh, let's see, we've used the AC just a little bit. We didn't use it much last night. It wasn't too uh, too hot out. Uh, open the windows, use the fan, watch TV, charged all our devices, charged all the extra batteries for GoPro. Turned the heat on this morning, but that's a diesel, uh, the Timberline. It uh, uses the diesel fuel from the engine, so we're still 86%. There's an app that um, for the Lithionics batteries. When we start up and we take off, we're going to see that uh, charge pretty quickly, actually. But again, if you ever needed a little extra boost, all you have to do is start up the engine. That's just like starting up a generator. You can actually then use your AC off of your your coach too to help uh, cool the place down if you're in some extreme heat and needed some extra AC. One of the nice things we like when you're pulling over into a, an overnight somewhere is it's so much easier to find a place. We got right into a normal parking spot here. As you can see the back end goes over the curb. Now the VB air suspension I let it down so there was still plenty of space under there. That's nice if you're a little high in the back end, you can let the VB air suspension down to help level it even more. If we had a big rig, we wouldn't have been able to park up in this area up close because they want most everybody over there. But since we were able to fit in a regular parking spot, we were able to get right here, right up close. I think we're about ready to go, aren't we? Yep. You're needing to find some coffee? I, yeah. That's what I hear. I thought maybe I'd go in the hotel see they, to provide me with some coffee. Oh, we did see a place there. A little coffee shop inside. Oh, yeah, so. uh, not She's not talking about the free coffee that the hotel gives. There's a actual oh, coffee, like coffee a shop. <laughs> kind of like wedding crashers, you know, hotel crashers. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. <laughs> no, they do. They have a little coffee shop in there that sells pastries and stuff too, but we're not going to get those because pie girl wants some pie and uh, a couple other things that they're famous for at this place 
All right, we'll go get that and uh, we'll get on our way. Wowzers. <laughs> you think you needed some coffee today? That's a large coffee. It is a large coffee. Um, here, I put that water down here. Well, that's okay. You can put it there. So, we got an hour and 15 minutes to go. Till pie? Apple, apple cherry. So they're supposed to be known for their apple bread. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get a piece? Okay, so we got the apple pie with the cinnamon ice cream. Mm, looks really good. That is very good. And that's worth the stop. Mm. And what would you rate it? I'd say that's a good nine. Uh -huh. That's a good nine. Good Christ and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While she's eating that, I'll show you the apple bread. They're known for this apple bread. I think there was a choice of different nuts, so I'm not sure what this one has. Sorry. Is it walnuts? Walnuts in there? Ready with. Mm -hmm. So if you're going along Interstate 10, be sure to make this mm -hmm. a stop and check it out. It's have worth it. Have yourself a piece of pie. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a little peek around here. Oh, I see they have donuts too. That's almost like going to a harvest host. You uh, can't leave without buying a bunch of stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what all we get, hon? That was a cute little store. Show Summer, oh. Summer sausage. That's mm -hmm. Brian's. Locally. <laughs> locally made here. Winesburg Meats. I didn't notice the jalapeno. That might be uh, spicy. Is it? Like... Oh, in there? Yeah. What else? A little bit of lotion, chapstick. Let's see, we got some salsa. Yeah. And some apple butter. Yeah. Apple bottom jeans. And... <laughs> Makes me want to think apple bottom jeans. Okay. Yeah. Apple butter. Michelle, uh, we ate at Ancho's. It's a Mexican restaurant in Riverside, California, and they got amazing flour tortillas that they make there themselves. They're thick and soft, and Michelle loves yeah. them. They bring so. them to your table warm with little pads of butter. And you oh. can even get honey there, too, yeah. with them, but it's she amazing. wants to use the apple butter on those, warm them up. Yeah. Sounds and, good. And then the, here's the salsa that we got. Here, let me show that one. Oh. Mild because we're wimps. We're wimps. We got to look at our uh, RV trip wizard and look and see what place that we had planned next. We try to uh, use RV trip wizard to plan everything ahead of time so that the trip's already set. And then if we see anything we want to stop and see on the way, we'll stop, which is really nice now. One of the things I, I don't worry about now is if there's going to be space there for you to turn you know to get in and turn mm -hmm. around when you have a big rig called the airstream and a truck big rig or not it was pretty long at 56 feet but now we don't have that worry with this we are about ready to go are we well no we got to figure out where we're going and yeah <laughs> we're gonna do that but you guys don't need to watch that <laughs>
Paso, Texas. It is Chico's Tacos. We're eating our way across America. <laughs> As it should be. It's supposed to be a, a world famous place for tacos. It sounds like reading reviews that people either love it or hate it. Right. <laughs> but it's a, a local's favorite. It sounds like they usually have security there. <laughs> This could be interesting. Alright, so here they are. They're known for the rolled tacos, which are these. They, uh, they are all corn. Uh, they normally the come with the sauce um, over them with the cheese on top that um, we read online to um, have it on the side so they don't get too salty. Look at all that cheese. And fries. Of course, we couldn't so this, not have fries. Yeah, this is a sauce. Some cheese and cheese. And, uh, yeah. What's Mexican food without fries, right? And she's the one that he, wanted them. He's fry guy. So, I, I think I got them forced on me. All right, all right I'm going to try one. Try it. You want to dip it. Dip it or put it. Ooh. So, be careful. There's this too, green. So far, I'm not in breath. Do they need salt or anything? Or? Yeah, all right. What is that? Okay, it's something different, but I'm giving it a six out of 10. So the green has a little kick, but I think I actually like it dipped in that instead of the red. Your mom ever tell you not to talk with food in your mouth? Mm -hmm. They're okay. There's something different, but I was expecting better. Uh -oh. What about the fries? Have you been here before? If you have, let us know what you thought of it. And if you haven't, you come, let us know what you think of it. To be a little more fair, I think we were eating them wrong. <laughs> you put your sauce in here and take your cheese and put it in here. Then you dip it like that. Much better. Um, that makes it soften these up a little bit. Yeah. Melts the cheese a little bit. I would give it more like a seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah. It was okay, but I suppose it, I don't know, it was a lot better once you put the sauce in. Mm -hmm. Stick the cheese in the sauce, melt it all up. That's probably what you're supposed to do. I mean, we're just we, us gringos don't right. Know how to probably <laughs> shouldn't have listened to somebody that said get the sauce yeah. on the side because you really want them to put it all on. Otherwise, they're too they're, che too, they're too hard. Eat. Yeah, I feel like that was an appetizer. We each had six <laughs> yeah. and fries, shared fries. One other thing before we take off, we uh, went 182 miles on this last trip. And we were averaging, um, it was 18.2 miles per gallon. And that's uh, up and down some hills, but there was a lot more flat areas than there was um, earlier this morning. So it's doing pretty good for, for fuel economy. Be curious to see how it does across America, especially when we get more of our stuff in here and uh, get the e-bikes on the back and all that. Now we're ready to go. A train ride just to see you Ride for hours just to please you You don't know how much I need you Cause you're my home away from home away from home away from being alone For the train ride we stayed at this Walmart. What, what town was this again we're staying at? Fort Stockton. Fort Stockton. And uh, the night went well. We had quite a few people staying here with us. Uh, quite a few vans even. I, thought, I don't know. I've counted five 
at least. It is Monday now. This is day three of our trip back to Florida. And as we said, we're taking it slow. And just going to take our time getting back there. Uh, we're going to work right here in the Walmart parking lot uh, today. And then later we will take off and drive a little bit further, hoping to find some uh, little hidden gems along the way. For me, this is fine. I'm in the front seat here with the seat. The seat turns around and you got this little table here. It's, it's perfect for a laptop. Um, for my work, I don't need uh, extra things sitting around. I don't need a you know pad of paper. Sometimes I write notes, but I can always just set that on the seat right next to me. Um, so this works fine. Um, we've got plenty of hookups. The one thing I don't like is a latch right here. And that latch is very sharp. So if you're not careful and you hit your knee on it, you could cut your knee open. Um, so that's one thing I would say that uh, Gretchen needs to just, just change that latch. Um, you make it a magnetic latch maybe because the release on this is these brackets underneath. So that wouldn't affect that at all. Uh, other than that, this works. Uh, this works fine. And you got to remember, uh, these Class B vans aren't so that you can have a home and you know all this space. They're they're limited on space, but they have a lot of benefits for traveling. And if that's what uh, means most to you, is the accessibility and and uh, getting into different places. And there, there's a lot of benefits that we will go over. That actually we didn't even think of until we started driving it, and and we're st we started thinking of our process, and we're like, oh, we don't have to do that anymore. We we can do this, but um, but we'll we'll go over that over time. As you know, we don't have any hookups when we're dry camping, so our battery life. Let's check that. We've used the lights, the TV, you know, the sound system on the TV. Um, did some charging, battery charging toothbrush charging and then this morning when I took a shower I used the hair dryer here's the app and that has all four batteries of your lithionix batteries it says 92 percent so we still have 92 percent and if you'll notice it doesn't matter which battery you pick they'll all say 92 and that's because they all drain together and charge together it's not draining one and then work to the next one. Black tank and the gray tank. One thing that we've noticed with this, like with our Airstream, it had a bigger black and gray tank. This doesn't fill as fast, even though it has a smaller tank. And that's mainly, I think, because we have instant hot water. Whereas with the Airstream, we turn the water on and you have to let it run for a little bit to get hot. So there's, you're filling up that tank, unless you're in a park somewhere and you got your gray tank open constantly. But if you're dry camping, that means a lot. And so that's the one thing we noticed, even though it has a smaller tank, we're going more days um, without uh, having to empty. And the reason why we know that is because we were in this for a week before we started this trip back to uh, Florida. And uh, we were testing it out. So on your tanks, you can see when I started my shower this morning, it was 21%, and after the shower, it's 33%. But we're still doing good. Black tanks at 19, and again, this is day three. So this is where Michelle works. She uses this chase right here. She's got herself an extra cushion to sit up a little higher because that's one thing that this lagoon style table, it needs to be so that you can adjust it up and down also. So they need to put a post on here that has a little kind of like an air hydraulic type, but it comes all the way around. You can put it pretty much anywhere you want here. So it works out good. And then she uses the TV, it has the HDMI port plugged into that. The laptop is back behind here and all the cables running back behind. And if we're driving, as long as we have internet connection, she has a seat belt and with no interruptions. And if she did start to lose connection, we have three different internet providers that it can switch over to uh, to get the best one. But if we run out of all of them, we'll just pull over. So we're gonna get to work here, and then again, later today, we'll take off. Oh, I like the little plug here. <laughs> so yeah, so being ambassadors, obviously, we're going to uh, show the Gretsch name talk about the pros but we're also going to talk about the cons you have our word on it this is not all about 
fluffing everything for the manufacturer. This is about telling the truth so that we can help you make a, a good decision whether this will be something that's, um, that's a good fit for you or not. So some of the things we look for before we take off on your heating system right here, the timber line. This runs off the diesel fuel, remember. We just turn that off. Actually, it's still going, the diesel burner. So this button here is for the diesel burner. This is if you're hooked up to um, electric, and shore power. This doesn't run off of the batteries. This, this runs off of the uh, diesel fuel or your shore power. So again, you still have this anytime, even when you're dry camping. But we turn this off when we're traveling because it uses the diesel fuel and no reason uh, for that to keep reheating the, the water. It'll probably stay hot for quite a while, but the temperature starts to drop in the tank, it's going to reheat it. So if we know we're getting, it, it heats the water really quick. And this is also for the furnace, by the way. It's a diesel burner. And then this button up here, starting your time for your water. So if you're going to take a shower, similar to what we had in the Airstream when we're getting ready to take a shower, and they called it a shower boost. Up here, obviously, we want to turn the water pump off. That's pretty much it. We want to make sure our vents are closed. We're going to close that. Michelle's going to close these windows back here. And then the other thing would be the VB Air. We'd want to make sure they come back up. As soon as you start, it'll give a buzz sound if they're, if they're down, a little warning, and it'll keep buzzing. Um, so if you have this and you're wondering what that sound is, that's what it is. And as soon as it fills the back up with all the air in your uh, in your airbags then uh, then you'll be ready to go if you've ever wondered you know where do I dump tanks if I'm you know boondocking going down the road well there's an app called RV dumps and it gives you locations of where all these RV dumps are um, some of them are in RV parks some of them in the state parks some of them like a, a rest area we found uh, one at a rest area on interstate 10 and so we're gonna go there and dump the tanks and get fresh water even though we don't need to dump them yet we're going to go ahead and do that so that they're empty so that they're empty stopped over here at the car wash across the street from walmart i wasn't sure if that ac was going to clear so i just pulled the front end here i needed to get the bugs off the bugs are really bad and um, stick some rain x on it i like to keep those bugs off because once they stay on there for a long time. They're harder to get off. to the rest stop it's not quite dark yet so we're gonna do our um, dump the tanks and get some more potable water your water next to your your dump that's not gonna that is not your potable that's for cleaning flushing out potable is gonna be on the other side you can see it over there All right. Not as much as you could be. You want to go into more details? No, I don't think so. Did you have corn? Now we're filling up the fresh water so we can watch our gauge out here. Auto retracting stinky stink. Stinky slinky hose. Mini stinky slinky. Mini stinky slinky hose. Pretty cool. We spent the night at a Cracker Bell and uh, stayed here all day and worked here in San Antonio. Uh, came down the street here and had to get a couple things at Walmart so we just continued working here and now it's towards the end of the day so we are uh, getting ready to head over 
to, I think we're going to probably stop somewhere um, outside of Houston. Uh, we have a favorite Mexican restaurant we might stop at in, uh, in Houston called Grinko's. There was a storm that was heading through that area, so we're just kind of slowing down a little bit more and letting that storm pass, and then we'll just tail in behind it. We've been running the AC uh, for a few hours today, and uh, the, the battery is, I think, down to 64%, the batteries. So far, so good. Well, that is a... But... Oh, well, it's Gringo's Mexican Restaurant in Katy, Texas. I, they have them in a few different places in so. Houston yeah. <clears throat> and possibly even San Antonio, but we're talking about the one right here in Katy, Texas. We're almost thinking it's our favorite. I think so. The chips are by far the best. Nine and a half solid. Yeah. We've never had chips that good. They're so light and crispy. They're, yeah. hmm. Very We've good. had light and crispy before, but not like this. We even took a bag to go. Yeah, we did. Where are the and the fajitas uh, are very, very oh, good as well. The chicken fajita, the oh, it's like oh. they use uh, marinated rotisserie type chicken. Very, very good. Somebody's uh, looking at their hair in our window there. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> a reflection. So we're gonna go out to the outside edge of uh, Houston, not quite to Beaumont yet, and we're gonna go to a Bucky's, and then we are probably gonna stay really close there to that Bucky's at a Cracker Barrel, and stay the night. We don't want to drive at dark because of the deer. Yeah. It's just, it's I like to drive at night, but don't like that extra worry about the deer. Right. Anyway, you still there? <laughs> That's what we're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> she had a margarita. I did not. I needed one after the day I had. Your shadow stretching on the floor she did. While the sun gets low I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core Needs to breathe to flow We push it right on through I know you need it to Because we have been working hard Right from the very start have never been to a Bucky's? It's addicting. It's time for us to stay out until it's late We've come a long, long way So we deserve it, mate They call it a day and celebrate Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week!